How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. Today we're going to take a look at Microsoft Access. Microsoft Access is a database management system. Uh, it's a program that we use to create a database. A database is pretty much a collection of related data. Uh, think of it as records. Think of it when you go to the store or, or you open up a new account. They're going to need information from you that information is being placed in a database uh, and you are considered one record okay so um, let's get started hopefully uh, by the end of this video you'll get a better understanding as to uh, what we can do with access so access is not the only database program out there or database management system program out there there's many others Today we're just taking a look at access. So once you get to this window, let's have you click on blank desktop database. So when you get to this uh, window, we want to create a new database. So let's click on the little yellow folder. We get to this window here and we are going to go to the desktop. Make sure you click on the desktop. That's where we want to save it under file name let's change the file name to last name followed by first name followed by access and notice the file extension is .accdb and we click OK now once we get to this window we just verify the proper name last name first name followed by access we look at the file location we notice it's on the desktop fantastic we click create okay now we have our uh, database uh, or access program completely open we can see that there's the ribbon here at the top all the different um, the different tabs <clears throat> and the first object that gets created is a table object notice it says table one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, a table Okay, well the table is actually already created for us. We're going to design the table. So what we want to do, so a table is, is one of the objects, one of the many different objects that Access has. Um, this is actually where our data will be stored. But first what we need to do is design the column headings. Okay, design, design the column headings. Basically we just have one column heading currently and it's called ID. So think of the column headings as the fields. Okay, let uh, let's we'll take a look at this in a little more detail. So make sure you go to the home tab, click on the home tab, all the way to the left, click on the views um, under the views group, click on the view command, the little down arrow. And currently we're in data sheet view, but now I want to go into design view. So let's click on design view. Oh, it's asking us if we want to save our uh, database so let's go ahead and type in the new name let's go with clients this is going to be our clients database so let's click OK okay so now we have this window and what we're going to do in this window is we're going to type in all the different fields so think of it as you go to open a new account what are the different things that they ask you when you open up a new account well one of the, one of the first things will be your first name okay so we're gonna create several fields here for our clients what are the different things we want to know about them first name last name let's go with address city state zip let's go with a home number like you know home phone number let's go with cell number with our cell phone number. Let's go with a uh, birth date or date of birth, whichever you prefer writing down, typing down. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do notes. <clears throat> so let's go down the list here. The first thing that came up that was automatically there was ID. Now ID, and as you can see right next to the ID, there's like a little key. that. Uh, the ID field is what we call a primary key. The primary key. The primary key is a what we call a unique identifier. 
each table needs to have a unique identifier which makes um, each record unique or different okay um, if you think about real life our primary key our unique identifier is our social security number there is no other person that will have that number or it's not supposed to okay so we're gonna keep that ID field and um, notice the data type we have the field name column and then we have the data type column the ID is an auto number on a, basically it's an automatic number that gets automatically generated we're gonna leave that alone um, for first name and uh, for all the rest for most of them here we're gonna leave them short date but let's just take a look at our options so we have short date or short text I'm sorry she's not short date let's talk about short text short text is um, the field size is 255 characters alphanumeric characters uh, long text it's a little bit longer number is just strictly numbers so what we're talking about when we talk about data types is what type of um, data that uh, what type of data that the field will hold um, so let's take a look at for example okay so we have date and time currency and then we have all these other ones which we don't want to really take a look at but first name is an alpha it, it's a it's a text so what we're going to be using is short text so we're going to do first name last name address is alphanumeric so we're going to keep it as short text city same thing is a text so we just keep going zip a lot of people think oh well zip is a number well it, it technically is but if we're not the the turn the the rule of thumb is if you're not going to be doing any math on it then we just want to leave it as short text same thing with home number and cell number uh, if we were to use the number data type then this field can only hold numbers it will not be able to hold the dashes or the parentheses that a lot of phone numbers have so for those for that purpose we're going to leave it as short text when I, now when it comes to birth date let's change this one we'll change it to date and time okay because birth date is a date and we want to strictly enforce that format uh, if we once we've changed that data data type to date and time we, we look uh, below under the format uh, row for the field properties we want to click inside the format and we go all the way to the right and we get a little drop down arrow and these are all the different formats that we can choose for our birth date field or date field um, <clears throat> I will choose let's choose short date okay and it'll be that format uh, month backslash day backslash year and under notes let's choose long text okay so now that we have all our fields our column headings designed so now let's change views and let's go back to data sheet view oh you must first you must first save the table do you want to save the table now yes okay fantastic <clears throat> we're on data sheet view now and we're able to see the column headings as you can tell we have the ID field first name last name so we have all the things that we added that we designed um, under design view okay so now that we have that square away we always want to do that first when we design our table we want to make sure we have all the proper fields there okay so now what we want to do is we want to create a form <clears throat> and the way we create a form is very simple we go to the create tab on the ribbon we locate the forms group and the command and the forms group is called form we're going to click on that and here we get a chance now your form may look a little different you may have uh, two columns with the different um, uh, text boxes to type in the the records but don't worry it's it's okay that's fine um, now what I want to do is I want to be I, I, I can't if I click on first name and I try to type somebody's first name 
nothing happens so what I want to do is change views and let's go to form view now we're not going to be designing the form the form is already designed for us so we don't want to worry too much about that so let's just click on form view and now we can see the insertion point it's blinking it's ready for us to type some text so let's type a sample record so the ID one ID field we leave that alone it's going to be automatically generated it doesn't matter if it's uh, sequential if it's if it goes one if it starts with one if it starts with five it doesn't matter as long as it's unique and it will be unique because um, it's an automatically generated field first name let's just type in an example let's go with first name is David last name is Atencio address 995 North Reed Avenue City Reedley Okay, I'm typing all this information in. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna put his uh, real number. I don't want anybody crank calling him. Um, let's type in. Okay, some phone numbers here. All right, birth date. <clears throat> I want you to take a look at this. I'm gonna type his birth date. November 11th 1953 and notice what happens when I press when I click on the other text box here it's gonna go to our short date format remember what our short date format was was month backslash day backslash year so I clicked on it and look it automatically does that so I mean I can I can type in you know the short date you know automatically myself okay and it or I can just type in you know the, the full long uh, birth date and it should automatically convert itself to the short date format okay uh, notes I'll put here coworker at Reed Lee College okay <clears throat> So I'm going to save. I'm going to click save. Um, I'm going to save my form name as clients. I'll click OK. OK. All right. <clears throat> so here we have we have our first record. Now, um, in order to, to finish this project or to get some more practice, I want you to create 20 clients. Two zero, 20 clients. I want to make sure that uh, everything's filled out. You can accept. You can leave. Actually, I want you to leave some home numbers blank and some of the notes blank. So leave some of the home numbers blank and the notes blank. Everything else should be filled out, especially the birthday. Everyone should. Everybody. Every one of your clients should have a birthday. Okay. Now your 20 clients can be fake clients. I mean that's okay, just as long as it's respectful data. You know you're not typing anything too crazy here. Okay. Um, how do we get to create a new uh, record? Well, we go to at the bottom here of our form. We have the next record button. We have the last record button. We have the new blank record. Uh, we can click on new blank record or next record. Each of these will create a new uh, empty form that we can type continue typing um, another con another client okay once you're finished with typing all your clients make sure to save actually save periodically um, here we have some tabs here we have the clients form we have the clients table when I click on my clients table it should be blank but what you want to do is click on the refresh all button which is on the home tab in the um, ribbon and you should be able to see all the clients all the uh, data that you have typed in okay so make sure you have 20 uh, clients um, one more thing is uh, that you want to make sure that your data is consistent in other words for example state 
I'm using the two letter abbreviation and I'm capitalizing both letters be consistent make sure that 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 whenever you type in the the, the state uh, name that you're going to use the same format okay very important and that goes along with zip uh, home number sound number you know you make sure if you're using this format I'm using dashes here you know I'm uh, for the next record I'm not using parentheses okay I want to keep the same format also make sure your your data is um, diverse but not too diverse that everything is so unique you want to kind of have uh, you know five records where they live in the same city at the next five another different city um, you know so mix it up change it up we need data in order to uh, experiment with it um, and that's what we'll be doing with part uh, in part two we're going to be experimenting with our data but for now make sure we have 20 clients and uh, I'll see you in the next video thanks